So today is November 10th, 2021. The PTR is supposed to go live today with the upcoming changes that are slated for sometime this month, maybe in a few days, maybe in a couple of weeks, however long it takes for them to test them. Now, one of the big, big, big changes is all of the trading posts are going to be linked between all settlements. So it'll be just like how World of Warcraft works. If, you, if you're in Eden Grove, you're gonna see the same auctions as if you're in Everfall. You can buy, you can list in Everfall, you can buy in Eden Grove and, and on and on and on. Now, obviously this is going to change the market wildly for a lot of things. And I'm going to give you my best opinions on what I think will change. Now I could be wrong. So cross reference this with your own knowledge and your own opinions to make decisions. I don't want to lead you guys wrong, have you guys lose a bunch of money, but I will tell you what I think might happen and then you guys can do whatever you want with those opinions. And as a reference, I have a YouTube where all I do is make gold guides and guides and, and news things and stuff like that. I've watched the market religiously every day. So I have a decent idea of what might happen, but I could be wrong. So again, make your own judgment calls with all the stuff I'm about to tell you now. All right, number one, in my opinion, is that you are going to want to unload all of your basic resources. So that would be green, greenwood, stone, rawhide, uh, maybe even iron ore, and fibers. And the reason you're gonna wanna do this is because right now, in order to sell these reasonably, people have to, wherever they're farming these materials, they need to bring them to Everfall, Windsward, or maybe Brightwood in order to sell them. Whereas once this trading post gets linked, if you're out here at level 10 cutting trees at Monarchs, you can just sell at Monarchs and you can get your money. If you are up in uh, Eden Grove and you just need some money, you go, ah, I'll just cut some trees and you just list them here and sell them. So suddenly all these players who aren't sitting around in the main three towns can still farm these basic mats and list them and sell them to get some coins real fast if they need them for something. They don't have to go all the way back and then farm them at Everfall or farm them at Windsward in order to make their money. Because of this, my best guess is that all of these are gonna fall in price dramatically. So also, make sure that if you want to farm these for money, like if you just wanna mindlessly cut trees for money, you wanna do it now before the trading post links, because after everything goes down, no matter where you are, if you do that, you're gonna make way less money than you would right now. That is my guess right now on these ones. All right, number two, I think that Vials of Suspended Azoth may go up in price. And the reason I think this is because right now what happens is if you are stuck out in Shattered Mountain, for example, and you don't really feel like doing Outpost Rush to get your Azoth, or you're on a server where you physically can't do Outpost Rush, uh, you have to go there, and you you have to go to the outpost and see if anyone is selling vials of suspended Azoth for some kind of scam price. And generally, there'll be some scam prices like this, and some guy will reluctantly buy like one or two just to fast travel out. Well, once all the trading posts are linked, they can just go ahead and buy them wherever they were listed. So if they're here, they're like, well, it's a good deal. I'll just go ahead and buy more while I'm already buying these since it's, you know, I can see the whole market. I can just buy them at the fair price instead of getting scammed. So while they're buying, they'll just buy more. They'll also be more likely then to buy because sometimes there's literally none for sale at one of these places. Other times the scam prices are so bad that they go, I'm just running. I'm, I screw it. I'm just running. And instead they're going to go, uh, well, I can get them, you know, at fair price. I'll just buy them, whatever. They're way more likely to make that decision in order to fast travel out of these places when they're out of Azoth. So that is why, to the best of my guessing here, the best of my opinions, I suspect Vials of Suspended Azoth will go up. Now, on the flip side, if you're thinking, well, now they can list them anywhere they want, well, at the same time, Vials of Azoth don't weigh anything. I, I don't know if anybody who's like... Oh, I have these files of Azoth. I'm at Mountain Home. I better just discard them or something. No, they just hold them. And then when they're, whenever they happen to be in Everfall, they list them. So, you know, as far as the supply goes, the supply is going to be the same, but the demand should be higher because of the easy access no matter where you are. So I would, my recommendation, if you feel like taking the risk, would be to buy vials of Azoth, maybe put a buy order so you get a little bit cheaper than where it's at now, like 105, whatever, you know and try to get a hold of as many as you want to invest your coins into. You're not going to flip it for crazy money, but you know, you might turn a thousand coins into 2000 coins or 10,000 coins into 17,000 coins or something like that. If that's a risk you want to take, that is another one that I suspect may change once the trading posts get linked.
All right, number three, a thing that you may want to do before the trading posts get linked is if you are ever going to use buy orders to buy something, stealing this, let's just say, some random thing, and you're like, I want to try to buy these cheap, you're going to want to do this now in whatever towns you're going to do it because once they're all linked, the difference between buy and sell orders is going to get so much tighter because people can check them more easily. Right now, say someone's going to Mountain Home or Shattered Mountain and they're out farming Merc Guard and they have all these buy orders that they want, like have. They don't have to be like, well, when I get back in eight hours, then I'll check and see if anyone overcut me and then I'll pull it and put a new one on or whatever. Instead, they can just be like, oh, I died. Let me check my buy orders real fast. Let me check my sell orders real fast. So all those margins will tighten really hard. So if you were ever going to try to use buy orders to make money, now would be the time. Especially if you ever do the thing where you put buy orders in different places like put buy orders in Brightwood, buy orders in Everfall, buy orders in Windsward, buy orders in Weaver's Fen, you know, like trying to get things in multiple places for cheap. If you're ever going to use that to make money or try to make money with that, you're going to want to do it now in the next few days or next couple of weeks because once the trading posts get linked, it's going to be one hell of a time trying to, trying to actually get good deals like that. Number four. Now, this one won't make a lot of money if it does change, but I suspect the price of potions in general will go up to some degree. Not by a lot, but I would suspect they go up some because the convenience of being able to buy them anywhere. So right now, you can't buy them. You put them on your slots. They don't weigh anything then. But if you are out and you need to restock, you just go, well, next time I'm in Everfall, I'll go get some. And so if you're out for eight hours, I just I guess I just don't have health potions for eight hours. Now, if some of you go, well, nobody uses health potions. Why would it? a lot of people do? A lot of people just burn their money into health potions and say, I don't really care. A lot of people have a lot more money than you guys think they do. Okay. So say, for example, you are over in Ebonscale Reach running uh, Imperial Palace and you run out of health potions. And then say you happen to die and you get back to town. You go, well, you know, maybe I'll just buy some health potions real fast. And you go, and since you can see the whole market, you can get them for a fair deal. And so you'll just go, oh, I'll just buy 25 or I'll buy 50, whatever, you know, especially if someone has like thousands of coins in their wallet. They're like, whatever. And they go back and go back to farming. And that is way more likely to happen once they're readily available and they're not just scam prices everywhere. You can just see the whole market at once. So I suspect that every type of potion and potion, every type of, well, probably every type of potion and every potion material will probably go up. Now on the flip side, there may be increased supply of the potion materials, but at the same time, if you're out farming something like uh, Lomi Lodestone and Moats, or if you're farming whatever, some material out in one of these places to make potions, I don't know of anybody who was like, oh, this 60 pounds of, you know, tier four potion materials worth five gold a piece is too heavy. I'm just gonna throw it on the ground. But the most part, when people collected those things, they were selling, they were bringing them back anyway in batches, so. I, I suspect the supply will be about the same for higher level potions, but the demand hopefully, like I suspect the demand will go up for all types of higher level potions, so tier 4, tier 5 of health potions, mana, regen, and maybe even some of those weird ones like, um, what are the tinctures and things, and the aggressive ones, the offensive potions. Alright, number 5, I think that the market for trade skill bonus foods is going to change, especially for the higher tier ones. Now, for the lower tier ones, you can make them anywhere, so those may become borderline worthless, so people, I'll just buy the ingredients, since I can get them cheap now, I don't, I can actually buy them when I'm out away from Everfall, like cauliflower, for example. Uh, and so they may just make, uh, the tier 2 ones, tier 3, but if they're out of Mountain Home, there's only a tier 3 kitchen at best. So a lot of those places is tier three kitchen at best. So they won't be able to get the better ones. So if you are able to make any of the ones that are tier four, so tier four or tier five, if you make any of these ones, the demand should go way up. Because what happens right now is say I'm out at Eden Grove doing the boar spot like I've shown in this video that I revealed in this video. Uh, and say I run out of skinning food. I'm not gonna, I go to the, I go here, I can't buy it. There's none for sale. There's never any for sale in one of these places for like those types of things. So I'm just go, well, I'll just keep grinding till I'm done and then I'll, I'll leave or I just leave and I'll come back some other day. But instead, if I run out when I'm farming boar, I'll go, oh, I'll just go back to the outpost and I'll just buy some more. Because of that availability, people will grind longer, which then makes them, they'll be able, cause they'll be able to buy more foods. And then because they'll buy a lot more foods, they'll grow a lot. You know, it's like a perpetual cycle here that will make them more likely to keep buying tier fours and tier fives. So the demand should go up, but the supply should be about the same because you still got to go to one of the major towns to make it because you got to have a uh, kitchen tier four, or tier five to make those good ones. So that's kind of like not super rare, but 
it's not always there. You know, like Windsor doesn't have one right now. First Light doesn't have one. You know, like, so if you're at one of these places, you can't just be like, well, I'll just make my own. I have the recipe. You literally can't. So I think I think the price of the tier four, tier five trade skill foods will most likely go up. Which then brings me to number six, which I highly suspect that the price of all these rare things, Tolvium, Cinnabar, Scarhide, Smolderhide, I just organized weird, uh, Blister Weave, Scale Cloth, all of these are most likely going to come down some in price on average. Now they vary wildly because of the way the market cycles work for these. You'll see them go down and down, down, and then they'll go way up because some guy will come by and buy a bunch, and you know it goes in these cycles sort of. But overall, I suspect they'll come down. And the reason being, because of what I just said on the last reason for what's going to change, because now, right now, if you are out at say the farming ground at Stronghold Ravine that I showed, and you're out farming the cycle, and you run out of luck food. You just gotta go back. You're done. I mean, you, you can farm without the luck, but no one wants to farm without the luck. It makes the gains absolutely terrible. The luck food's more important than even the gear, way than the gear put together. So you're like, oh, I'm out of luck food. I guess I gotta go back. You go to Reekwater, can't buy it there. I gotta go all the way back. So you go all the way back. Do you really feel like going all the way back out again? And a lot of people go, ah, I just, I'm just done for the day. I'll just, I'll just farm again some other time. And a lot of that, it's, it triggers a lot of people to be like, I'll just, I'll just quit now. Whereas if you could, if it's all available, you go, okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm out of food. I'll just go back here and I'll buy some and I'll keep going. And whoever your nearest settlement is, you just go there, you buy some, and you go back out and keep farming. So people are more inclined to continue farming these materials for longer periods of time. Unless, of course, I, like, cause there are times where some guy just goes out with like 50 food, but most people don't. Most people have like five or 10 or three or whatever, and they go out. If they run out, well, now they're out and they go back. So. Uh, it won't increase it by like uh, it won't increase the supply by an insane amount, but it'll definitely increase the supply because of the easy access to trade skill foods now. So number seven, it's gonna be cooking ingredients. Right now, you uh, cooking ingredients. The catch is that you gotta lug these things around to a different place. But right now, if you're in some place and you're farming like corn in Morningdale or something or wherever, uh, you can just sit there and farm all these things and then list them. A lot of times what happens for me is I'll go out and I'll pick random foods while I'm out. I'll just see something, oh, there's some squash and I'll grab it. And then whenever I'm in one of these towns, I may just throw it in the storage there. It may be there forever, you know? Whereas now you may go, well, I can farm these things at Morningdale, for example. I can just them at Morningdale. You know, if you're out uh, in Monarch's Bluffs farming something in Monarch's Bluffs, I can't remember what would, be, what would be just be in Monarch's Bluffs, but you know, something like that. Uh, you just listed Monarch's Bluffs and you're done. You don't have to go take it away. Just the convenience makes you more likely to sell it instead of just holding it and throw it in storage. So that could affect the prices of that, which also at the same time, on the same note, the prices of spices may come down some because you don't have to go bring them back. You're just out at Evan Scale getting whatever ones drop from these, or you're out at Reekwater getting whatever ones drop from these and you just go back to Reekwater, you sell them. You don't have to go all the way back to Everfall. Now, that's not gonna be too big of a difference though because they don't weigh very much, but in some of these cases with the foods, like pork, for example, you know, if, or if you're getting, if you're killing wolves and you are getting the uh, red meat, they're already cheap. These are gonna be even cheaper because a lot of times if I'm out, if I was farming the boar spot, for example, and I end up with just like literally 700 pounds of pork and I know it's this cheap, I'm just gonna throw it out. I don't even. I, I don't even want to deal with it, right? But if I can just list it there, I go. Ah, I'll just go ahead and list it while I'm here for like 0 0.03 and make like 50 coins or something, whatever. And you just throw it on, and instead of throwing it out or throwing it in storage or doing something stupid with it, you know. Now I don't know. This one's a uh, knock. I don't know. It's not gonna change a whole lot, but it's something to think about. Definitely something to think about. So there you have it. Those are seven things that I think will change once the trading post link. Now I could be wrong on some of these, but chances are a decent number of those ideas will happen. So if you want to make some money, you know, plan out what's going on in your server. Think of your own prices. Think of what makes sense for you. If you don't think something I said doesn't make sense, then obviously don't do it. I don't want to see you guys lose money. So use your best judgment. I just wanted to give you some input that will help you think of ideas and generate ideas of things that might change. You might think of something totally different that I didn't even mention, and you could make a killing on it. And if so, good for you. That will be awesome. If you found this advice helpful, be sure to subscribe. This YouTube posts news, uh, new world news, new world guides, money-making guides. I always try to keep you guys up to date on opportunities to make a bunch of coins before changes happen. 
different opportunities like that. I try to keep you guys updated. Try to make sure you guys don't get banned by letting you know, like, for example, Overwolf minimap might be able to get you banned and different things I've mentioned in previous videos. So if that sounds interesting, you'll be sure to subscribe. But that's it for this video. Hopefully now you have a better idea of what might change once the trading posts link. Hopefully you can get out there and make some money.